not doing something today for my dream i'm not satisfied that's my philosophy really your 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 funda your basic logic is live the life why you can if you don't then fuck it really yeah because i i now i think you know the dream is that i have it will take time and you the dream is you have that will also take take time so yeah, why you will really. be dissatisfied till then be satisfied if you are, if you have done something today for your dream be satisfied if you have not done then Just be miserable man that's all you need make yourself happy make your parents happy that will automatically yeah, yeah. give it that's happiness that, that's that's well the surrounding will be happy your environment will be happy it will automatically affects you in a good way that's fine so when we say how are you really doing so it's really is unaligned so you have to be a little bit honest and you have to share your true feelings uh, this is the so first here time you go so i'm you know i'm i'm in conversation with you so i thought saying i am fine will be good so i didn't think that that much that's why i say i'm fine you don't know internally how i feel so still you have to you know show the other person that yeah i am doing fine even though if you are burning inside even though you are that's facing hard doesn't matter what you feel you don't need to show your feelings to other persons man so i think this is the best option to you know just let the people know that you are happy that you are doing well in your life so for me i am doing well so what about you how are you man if you are I'm feeling fu- well, see, I, i'm, I'm fucked up i'm not feeling well i'm fucked up bro uh, what's 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 the cause behind it okay what is the cause behind it because uh you know actually i can also say that i'm i'm pretty fine and i'm not i'm not uh, you know uh telling you that share the personal things with you but you can say that like how are you feeling are you like really feeling good in life or you are feeling bored you don't need you don't have to dig deep down you just have to say something that should be interesting about yourself it's right all, so all when we say yeah when we say that i yeah, i'm fine it's all okay so it's kind of the the conversation starts getting boring first mm-hmm. So if you so, want to make it a little bit eager and so you do and I joy so you have to say something so that I can get to know how you are really feeling because I do care for you brother So where are you from and what do you do by profession man Uh actually I just finished my graduation so now I'm having a gap year I'm not pretty sure I'm to be honest I'm my future is really dark I don't have any idea I don't think that it's not going to be dark if you are willing if you are determined for something everything will fall at its place you just need to work on that if you are that's still, what i'm saying that's yeah. what i'm saying i'm not having any specific exactly. goal about about my future yeah because of the pandemic everyone is staying idle in their homes in their you know so there's nothing you can do about it everyone is having gap so it's good to have a gap at least it will you know reduce some burden from your head you will feel relaxed during this period you will get to know your family much better you will get to know yourself better because sometimes if you you know sit alone in a room and think about what i am doing what i have to do sometimes these moments make your life better when the situation was you know going all well before the pandemic mm-hmm. you don't get to a lot of time you know to think about lives we were just going with the flow you know that True. you're just going with the flow go with the tide so nowadays i think it's a good time to observe ourselves you need to be an good observe uh, observation person so that you can see the things that how they are how they will be how can i make them better in my personal opinion at the end of the day what happens what you have you know uh, made up your, if you made up your plans and you don't go with and then uh, they don't fall at the mm-hmm. place still you need to work on them make the you know make the plans much better so that you can have a little more conversation with someone that are experienced you can work on your flaws you can work on your mistakes and overcome them so i think it's a good period for us to learn something what's your yeah, opinion on that that's true that's true that's true i'm totally 100% agreed because this is the time we can introspect and you know but but there is one thing that's disturbing me actually i don't know about you but that's that's this kind of gadgets that we are using like our mobile phones or laptops because we are getting so much disturbed by youtube video so what is your view about this are are you also the person who is stuck with this system i will say more or often yes sometimes yes sometimes not it so it depends on your mentality on your thinking mobile most of the people say mobile phones cause destruction it causes you know 
uh, chaos it causes you know it uh, mm-hmm. creates bad habits in you know i don't think i totally disagree with it because it depends on your thinking the way how you use your phone how uh, how you use the net mm-hmm. how you do the things it all depends on yourself it's not the fault of the tech it depends uh, it's the fault of Upon our person, yeah. so how how we you know how we take these gadgets how we use them if we use them in a better way they can provide a lot of you know uh, benefits if we use them in a bad way then it's obvious we have to face the outcome for example if we say let takes example pornography it's becoming you know a worldwide mm-hmm. uh, it's a wide problem not a problem yes. those who consider it a problem i think it's problem for them but pornography is is legal is legal that's why they mm-hmm. made the pause so yeah. me, to use the mobile phone and to watch porn that may be effect that can affect my you know life that can mm-hmm. affect your mental health as well but if True. you use your mobile phone in a better way maybe it will provide you some you know good things you can uh, search a lot of stuff you can know about our history you can know about you can get everything from the google if we are you know willing to do the great, great things not the bad things so in my personal opinion mobile phones doesn't cause you any trouble unless and until you don't create the problems by yourself by your thinking so i think it's not a you know default or a flaw tech is not a flaw we are the flaws that's true that's true you know but somehow deep down yeah deep down i felt that uh, you know i'm kind of person who is watching only the productive stuff i never watched any entertainment i watched entertainment but there is a limit of my like how much i have to watch but still while like watching good videos watching some interviews of great personalities and learning a lot of things but still there is something in my mind that no i should get out out of it I, there should be time for my using of this this kind of gadgets right because if you are watching uh, for example you are you are watching some documentary or you are reading from like it it's really heck when you read book when you read pdf book you can't read pdf book from your laptop or your mobile phone and if we will if will you if you will start reading the physical one right so there is much more difference of reading these kind of books on your mobile phones or watching good videos yeah. and right so what i have observed at at the end of the day you know for example i will give you a little example if you will watch one video of uh, sandeep maheshwari let's take a little example of sandeep maheshwari you will watch one video on your mobile phone okay and the other person will go to that show he will appear there physically okay you are watching in your phone and he's 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 right there he's in front of him yeah. he's attending you know, the, the yeah yeah the person who will be who will go there he you know that thing he will he will take advantage of that thing but right now you are getting everything in your mo- mobile phone so we are taking it kind of for granted you got yeah. my point what i'm trying to so, say well, you know you what will say dumb we like to have all the things right in front of we don't need to work we don't even though i will tell you a thing we have becoming so much of you know dependent on the gadgets on the other things really, even though really you get a glass of water you will ask your mother you will ask me i need a glass of water that's the thing we need to change that's the things we need to you know work on of course everything is pro every, everything is all being provided whether online or offline life is becoming you know so much Hell, bro we make mm-hmm. we make ourselves so much you know depraved and depleted because of these kind of things that makes us you know feel uh, yeah that's the thing we can get you don't need to go outside we can be online okay let's uh, let's watch something uh, we don't need to go to cinema nowadays because of the pandemic as well as if we if you want to watch the movie you can get it online ott port, uh, platforms are there so for me for my personal opinion i will say you should work we should work on those things that can transfer our image into the real one and we need to go outside we need to observe the things by ourselves not by on the mobile phone not by you know just uh, listening to some motivational speakers right, these right. things have an influence not for a very long uh, for mm-hmm. me if i watch a, a motivational video whether it is sandeep mashwari or any other personality that effect will last only for that period the video is slowed so my motivation will automatically fall down yeah it will go right at the end right. of the day That's what true. remains what remains is what you have you know made up your mind if you have made up your mind fully 100% no i have to do this no matter what will happen no matter what will you know 
do uh, cause me to do those things i have mm-hmm. the right to do the things because this is the only way that can i can survive in the you know in the in the in this, in this era, era. Mm-hmm. these these things you should work on in my personal opinion yeah these are the things that you really need to you know have focus so that you can make yourself a better person okay so all right so uh, you have to be honest so when you just woke up what is the first thing you touch you yeah, have to be honest or you know yeah i will be honest why should i like okay i will tell you my daily routine okay. i woke up because it's ramadan right now i woke up nearly at 12 or 1 right now then i will offer you know a prayer and after that i will go to sleep again i will woke up at the time of you know prayers then i will call prayer then still and go and watch some videos till it will it will come time of iftar i will watch some videos till the time of iftar and do the iftar and again offer the prayers and who, then who is who is your who is your who is your favorite youtuber youtuber for me i don't watch these kind of things i just watch movies i'm a, you know i'm a very very fond of movies mm, i like so i know that it is and all that so i don't think for me it's not a I don't have any you know favorite youtuber or something else like that. I don't have any. So okay. I think I am I am too much of you know I am doing uh, not well. I'm not doing well because of YouTube. Not only really YouTube, man you know you know the thing, thing is this my life they affect this. my personal life as well because I am not able to focus on my studies. I don't even touch my books for the last one year. during this pandemic everyone you know you will get to see a lot of personalities have developed during this period but for me Absolutely. i have come dull and dull day by day because you know i don't know what's wrong with me but maybe is the period everything will be fine in you know, at least i get to know myself during this period that's a plus point for me so yeah, I, mean, i would say oh, i get only loss i get something as well from the pandemic by staying at home i get to know my family much better i get to know them closely i get to share their love i get to share my you know feelings with them they share all feelings with us we all share our okay, you know right. so it's a good so, thing as well, bad as well so the next thing goes to are you afraid of anything in your life so, like are you afraid of something uh, that could be anything be- anything so are you talking about the you know about my uh, personal life or you talking about no, no. you know for example you know if if i will bounce back this question to me so what i am afraid of is i'm afraid of wasting time really you know if i wished if i wish, if i wasted anything for example if i will look back to this day and i will think that i have wasted this i will it it really makes me miserable in inside i think that dang bro what i have did but this is a thing like for example after one year after two years and you will look back and you will say that i have wasted a lot of time you know this is the thing i am afraid of so i just want to make every single second productive so this is the thing i am afraid of what about you what i am afraid of is not living the life at its fullest i that's think that's what it is yeah i am not living my life to the fullest and how because i don't get everything what i want for example not my family Uh, mashallah they have provided me everything because i'm fully dependent on my father mm-hmm. so whatever i will ask him he will you know get me i'm not talking about that i'm saying i have some dreams you know i have some right. i have some plans what i am mm-hmm. afraid of i don't know why i'm not working on them that's the thing that makes me afraid why i'm not doing this day by day these things you know make you a dull person that you know uh, what will say that that eats you inside from the inside that things makes me afraid why why i am not doing that i have if i have made some plans why i am not working on them what's the thing that stops me so these are the you know some things that makes me afraid i all the time think about it but in yeah, fact this is this is the you know, same thing i am afraid of this is the same thing i am afraid of that's that's what you know when you think that you are wasting your time it's that it's the uh, manifestation of the thing that your future will be not better because if you have if you are wasting this day so you can't expect that your future will be better but if you are making the day productive then you can somehow deep down there is satisfaction of that no man i have done something are you agreed with this point for you is your personal opinion for me i won't 
we agree until until and unless i won't achieve my goal and my goal is i have a dream i want to qualify the upsc exams inshallah if, if i will you know work daily i will say yeah i have done something i have you know learned something from the books i have learned something from the youtube yeah i will be happy no for me i will be only satisfied when i will get my final goal till then i would be satisfied oh, so you, you will be hungry then yeah till then so, your own personal opinion yeah if you think yeah, that yeah, I have today thanks thanks to almighty that yeah it might the has been productive i have learned something it's good for me, i don't think for me it, it will it will it won't work it won't work until and unless i would achieve the target that i have aimed for so i think to make the day if we're talking about in terms of you know intervals if we're talking about a day a month how will you make productive how will you give it give you satisfaction i will say just enjoy the life do what you are doing do it you with your heart make the things better as i will repeat again and again my main motive my main you know my main uh, target my main observation that i have seek that i have you know learned from others what they do often in their life they will do one one thing if they are you know doing something if they are for example if they are preparing for any competitive exam mm-hmm. what they say maybe the question oh if i don't qualify for the exam what will i do next oh if i will do, no don't do that what will i do they are depressed of those things they need to come out of the fear they need to face the outcome as well it doesn't matter if you fail the exam life would be yeah. ended there are other things as well so i have seen a lot of friends my i have a friend you know who recently given exam and he was not able to qualify it the neat exam so mm-hmm. he was fully depressed he was not you know he was he has locked up himself in a room he didn't go outside he was fully depressed i used to call him he didn't pick up my call and i sometimes i texted him he didn't even text back so uh, few days a uh, few days early, earlier uh, i went to his home and asked him mm-hmm. what's wrong with you man and he told me i don't know what's wrong with me i'm okay he was not you know showing his you know feelings emotions what yeah, he is feeling oh, inside mm-hmm. deep down what what he is feeling right now so i go go to him and try to make him understand this is not the end of the life there are a lot of things right. you can do in your life just uh, make the life a beautiful you know beautiful thing to you yeah it that's true what you will do or not if you are failed life won't be you know ended here there are a lot of things you can still do so then yeah, we go true. we roam here and there i make him feel a little happy so right mm-hmm. now he is doing fine so i think uh we have to be very careful about choosing our goals why for example my goal is upsc it's not only my family's goal it's my wish as well absolutely now it is what the parents do they pressurize their uh, uh, their children to make the things that they don't want to they want to make them you know my for example some parents will say my uh, daughter will be a doctor or my son will be a engineer at least mm-hmm. they have to ask their you know children whether they want to they really want to do that did, did they really want to go to that field or not so it's the job of the parent to ask their student i am mean to say uh, to ask their children their children what they right. want to do if they want to become a uh, you know a sports person let them be if they want to become a doctor then let them be don't force them to do this those things that they don't want to. if you force them <laughs> they will have by most in in this period most of the st- uh, students what they do or most of the children what they do they attempt murder suicide they mm, you know society, they, yeah. they, 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 they get they, they became the drug addicts by you know all the all the persons that are you know forcing them to do the things that they don't like so we we need to you know you we need to work on that as well our do, parents do you, should work well. yeah do you think this whole generation is depressed yeah for right now you, yes yeah because of the true, you know the future they are all you know, worried because they are, they are worried about their future that's all absolutely you know we were some uh, before it's back one month when i was outside kashmir and we were at least six friends and we were talking about these kind of things this uh, depression and anxiety and everyone was saying that can you give me number of psych- psychiatrist because i have lot of things to talk because we can't share the personal things like i don't share my insecurities with the person who are around me i want to share them with the person 
you know, who don't know me, who will not judge me. You know, everyone was saying that. And what we did, we just went to Google and we got the number of one psychiatrist and we called him. And he told that I have fee of 2000. And we were like, fuck him. Then. Like 2000, it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah so. That's the thing. Uh, we are not able to, you know, share our feelings with someone. We think, yeah, maybe he will make fun of us. If we'll say, man, I'm feeling this. I'm deprived. I'm feeling depressed. What will we do? Sometimes we feel if I share my feelings to this person, maybe he will make fun of us. Don't mm, think that. True. Let the people make fun of you. Today they will make yeah, fun of you. Yeah, people always make. Yeah, that's true. Tomorrow they will see you rise like a star, shine like a, you know. Don't Dime worry man. about these things. Nah, yeah. no, man. If you they make fun of us, let them. I, I told you that uh, I, I'm uh, I'm kind of person who actually maintain the journals. So I share every single thing with, my, with the book. You know, whenever I'm just... Uh, I'm so much worried, I'm depressed, and I'm having a lot of things to talk about in my mind. So I just go and I just talk to my talk with, with the diary. So I guess that's the better way, really. They, because he would get the flaws. He would ask you why you right. were panicked. Yeah, yeah. He won't say anything back, man. Nothing. It, it's it's really a secret, secret keeper. Yeah, I think it's a better option. Uh, yeah. Rather than making friends and who will make <laughs> I think book is a great option. Notebook is a great option. Really, is really, bro. That's what friends. I'm doing from from the last two years. That's a good thing. I think I should also do the same kind of things. That will make me much better. And how, how is your relationship with your family, with your dad, with your mom? Mostly I love my uh, dad the most. And my mother also. Everyone loves their family. My relationship is good. I already told you, during this period, I have got to know my family very well. We bond. We get a great bonding. We make, you know, a lot of uh, situations where some situations comes in your life where you feel you need your family. And mm, that's true. this period, I get to observe. I was, you know, just rewinding in my mind, if my parents were there at that time, maybe that thing could have been much better. So I get to realize during this period, my family supports me in every decision what I make. Whether it's a bad, it's a wrong. They, I will tell them, no, I want to do, do this. They won't force me. They That's say, true. you're a mature man. You don't need our help. We can only provide some tips. But you are the person that, you, that has to do the things. So I have good bonding with my parents, especially with my father. He never, ever, ever will say listen son you need to do this listen son you need to do that i will simply say he just told me one thing do what you want to do do with your heart make yourself really, proud. Man. Mm -hmm. you can be proud as well that's all I guess, yeah you falls into 60 percent of people who are so much privileged i i can't say 60 percent at least 30 percent are the people you know uh, whose parents really know them like they told them that do whatever you want to do same is with me my dad is also like your dad so i guess we are so privileged we should be graceful for this thing really man. yeah absolutely absolutely you yeah. know because i have met yeah i have met a lot of lot of people and they say that we don't like what we are doing some people are doing b-tech and they're saying that my dad wanted to do b-tech and now he's just he's just passing his dream to, to me really and this this is really a bad thing I guess, as I have told you earlier, mm -hmm. parents don't need to force their children to make the things they don't want to. If your, you know, if your son is good in something and you want him to do other things, that would change his life. That will make his life much more worse. So we need to, you know, think about that. And as children, it's our job, it's our duty to make our parents understand because day by day, day by day. You're getting call. I can't hear you, bro. It's not issue. Man. It's okay, net okay, issue. No, no. okay now, net, now I can hear you. It was network failure, man. My net just suddenly stopped. That's why you were not able to. Um, yeah, I now think. it's now it's okay. Your case is clear to me. It's okay now. Yep. So the next question is uh, actually, you know, you 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 were thinking that we will talk about uh, we'll talk only for uh, 
30 minutes uh, but it's it's at least it is 40 minutes yeah. and we we have only Correct. talked about one question yeah how time goes <laughs> we don't know yeah we can talk about five hours bro because i know okay. you have a lot of things to say so okay mm -hmm. i think you have your work to do as well so i'll ask you two questions simply yeah, i will go ahead to just and my first question will be are you satisfied with your life and if you are satisfied how can you make your life much more satisfied and if you are not you know, that mm -hmm. why not really the to be honest honestly you know i was struggling with this thing am i satisfied or am then i will be satisfied and at the end what i learned was like the day you uh, you lived is the day that is the last day really i don't now now there is only one thing in my mind and that is there is no future there is no tomorrow actually because i told you that if my if today if today became productive if i made if i did something better for the last day i think that i'm satisfied because we really don't know tomorrow because tomorrow there is no tomorrow that's what i have learned now and i was also you know living in the future i was thinking that i also have dreams like you i'm not dreamless dreamless person but i have dreams but i don't want i don't want them to you know get over me i just want to take it so much easy i just want to work on these so if i am doing something today for my dream i'm satisfied if i am not doing something today for my dream i'm not satisfied that's my philosophy really your 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 funda your basic logic is live the life while you can if you don't then Okay. Really, yeah. Because I, I now I think you know, the dreams that I have, it will take time, and you, the dreams you have, that will also take take time. So yeah, why you will really. be dissatisfied till then? Be satisfied. If you are, if you have done something today for your dream, be satisfied. If you have not done, then Just be miserable, man. That's all you need. Make yourself happy. Make your parents happy. That will yeah, automatically yeah. give yes, it happiness yes. as well. The surrounding will be happy. your environment will be happy it will automatically affects you in a good way that will convert you in a better personality you will be automatically happy okay my second question will be to you what do you think about the poor section are they really poor or they made themselves poor because nowadays a lot of persons a lot of people they will beg even though if they have a lot of property even though if they have a lot of things still they you know go outside and Beg a lot of people from outside come to Kashmir. Why are mm. they coming here? Why are they begging? Even though if they have, you know, homes, houses in their, you know, in their uh, states, why are they coming here? What should we do to those uh, people? What do you say? Absolutely. Should we, you know, harm them and harshly mm -hmm. tell them why are you doing this, or will we say soberly, no, don't do this. It's not a good way. What's your personal opinion on this question? yeah you know actually this question is alien to me but according to me uh the people you know because you and me we have lived outside kashmir and people don't give give things to the people who beg right people give only one penny of uh one rupee and in kashmir what uh, what is wrong with the kashmiri people you know me personally when i see someone begging i feel so much you know so much i i feel miserable inside i think that if i had money then i will help him out i think the people of kashmir they are so much you know uh, what we called i lost the word people are so they are having the sympathy sympathy towards any other person if it if it is indian yeah. army if it is indian army if it is any other person from outside people people of we'll, kashmir we yeah we will we will share we will share his pain we will share his pain ourselves and, we and this is the this is the beauty of islam this is this is what what is uh, this is what we have learned from islam because yeah. we should be the we should be that kind of person who have the sympathy towards other person we should have the empathy inside of us and that is that is true true nature of every human being should be and oh, i yeah. told you recently that mm -hmm. yeah go ahead i was i was at lal chowk so i was waiting for my mom she was getting some groceries and all stuff so there was a man who just suddenly stopped a beggar i thought okay. what happened to him he was you know a beggar he was acting he was not even he, uh, he was acting like he don't have any legs he was acting a limped limped man mm -hmm. disabled person but yeah, in real that's true that's true he just suddenly he just suddenly take his you know stick and asks him to 
you know run oh. and he he makes him to do that and he, everyone was looking at him and saying no he is you no know, disabled why are you doing this to him mm. and the person tell told everyone he is not i have seen with my own eyes that he was walking he was doing fine at the other place and now here he comes and he begs to the people that's not the right way and he makes him run in front of everyone he was <laughs> like what the hell i am doing and then everyone came uh, some people try to beat that person you know the kashmiris mm-hmm. you know hard and you know they, i was also i was also amazed by this question like what the hell are you talking about beggars we are talking about life and you you went to another section but you have yes, yes. encountered the thing today yeah that as well yeah so i so i thought i should share with you as well i was firstly i was you know uh, <laughs> to know what you will think about this <laughs> sharing you right now so that person just ran a, ran away and he was like he left left his stuff there he left his panties some little panties there and some of the stuff there and he just ran away and people <laughs> were like let, let him be awesome. don't go after him so my okay. person can about beggars some people beg because they, they don't have any options left mm-hmm. without bank because they are disabled some don't have the arms some don't have the you know so disabled person so if we help them allah will reward us so Inshallah. it's uh, some people like small small kids their parents use them yeah, yeah. Go- that there's another if we will go deep into this this yeah. is a whole 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 big topic right yeah it's a big uh, topic so so my brother you know actually we have talked at least for i guess 30 minutes right or more it's an hour yeah so i would love to talk to you more we will do next session because this is uh yeah right because we have a lot of things to talk about we, i have i have personally a lot of questions to ask you right now but okay, we okay. we're not having that much time so we will do next session but i am having last last question to you and that is how do you define success how do you define a successful person successful person or success i will define both of them like what is what is success to you what is success to you what success means to you that you are it's what you have you know for me success is two things if you are happy mm-hmm. you are successful because right. happiness makes you successful if you are deprived if you are depressed if you are you know uh, feeling bad that mm-hmm. can't make you successful even though if you are successful successful person right. is the person that makes everyone happy because of their you know uh, the, the person who is successful will see, you will see a lot of personalities like bill gates like jeff bozos mm-hmm. and you will take a look at them and see and observe what they have done in their life because they have started from the zero and now take right. look at look at themselves look at uh, them where are mm-hmm. they now standing they have built an empire so for okay. me success is if you have a goal work on it okay so what do, until okay you don't achieve that goal don't mm-hmm. stop don't stop only yeah. success okay so, so what do you think for example you are having a goal of becoming a ias officer okay? okay so what do you think if you will uh, if you will reach this goal so you will call yourself as a successful person or not sometime you no know, it's stage it's the first stage i will call myself a successful person when i get to that field i will get to you know to face a lot of you know things i Stuff, need to yeah, work things society then it will transfer automatically i won't stop if i see somebody is facing something then i will make that a goal and i have to achieve that goal i had to move forward like i said like i said the big personalities the richest people where they started and they climbing climbing even though they are so much rich they don't need to work still they are working why because they are not satisfied they are not, not satisfied, satisfied. that will that is the case with us if we if my goal is uh, to become an ies i get to uh, that uh, option i get that in thing so the next mm-hmm. success for me will be the next goal will be for me to observe the society to observe where the flaws are where i can yeah, you to know work that, mm-hmm. that will become automatically my goal and i have to achieve that then i will call myself yes i am successful then i will go to other field i will say yeah there is the thing that i need Things, to work on yeah, yeah. As- mm-hmm. so success doesn't stop it has no ending for me it has no ending so it's my personal opinion success has no ending so i think it's a we had a lot of questions it won't stop it's a very you know vast yeah, because i told you that i am having a lot i am having one more session at 10 so 
Thank yeah, you so much talk. for being in this show. Inshallah, we will talk. But but I really I really urge you to join me next time. Inshallah, so we will talk much more because there is there is a lot of stuff we need to talk about. Yeah, yeah, there is a lot of stuff. Stuffs mm -hmm. are coming inside our head. Yeah. Things come automatically. But so, I have. You won't believe me. I haven't made anything. These are the things that automatically comes outside. That's you know? what I'm saying, bro. You know, the questions that I was trying to ask you, I, I don't ask. I just ask something and you just uh, talked about something and we went uh, deep down, deep down. And I don't know where we, it, it's Maybe really, so. but this was really thing. amazing talk to you, really. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. So thank see you, you so next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Have a good time, brother. Thank you.